welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul, so if you're interested, then keep watching. So last week I went to town, you know when you just like, I'm just going to go to town, see, you know, what's new out there, do a little bit of window shopping, no intentions whatsoever to be buying anything, and then you find yourself somewhere in a drugstore or in Max and Spencer's beauty and suddenly you have this massive bag of things that you bought that you were not planning to. That happens to me quite often, I don't know about you guys, but it happens to me a lot. So it happened to me again last week, so I decided to show you what did I impulsively purchase once again. So let's see what kind of useful and not so useful things I bought. I bought a cleanser and a mask from Pixi. This is the Glow Matte Cleanser. It has glycolic acid and aloe vera in it, same as the Glow Tonic has glycolic acid in it as well. I really enjoy using the tonic very much. I use it at least three times a week probably. I feel like it's really cleansing the pores when you feel like, you know, you got that environmental pollution clogging their pores. And I also grabbed a glow mud mask with ginseng and sea salt. So it's meant to clean your pores and clean your skin without drying it, which I'm really hopeful because I do like like a cleansing and a purifying mask that has some charcoal in it because I do have a lot of blackheads on my nose or on my chin area as well so I will definitely give it a try if it does work I will let you know but I'm looking forward to um, using the cleanser as well because I do double cleansing in the evening and I cleanse once in the morning as well and after that I tone and I moisturize and put you know my eye cream and everything because I do like a cleanser that kind of very gently exfoliates the skin and doesn't just you know take the makeup off so yeah, both of these I'm quite excited about. I also grabbed an eye makeup remover because to be honest, until now I have been moving my... Moving? Well, yeah, I have been moving, but I have also been removing my eye makeup with something like Miss La Water, be it Bioderma or my Simple Miss La Water. I do really like using both of those and they're very mild on the eyes. They don't irritate or, you know, leave any redness on my eyes. And um, But then I thought that sometimes it actually takes quite an effort to remove. I was on a shoot and they, you know, did a really heavy you know, eye and there's lots of like waterproof mascara. It takes a little bit more effort to remove it with micellar water. So I thought I will get something oil based and I brought this and I bought this one and this is the Laboratories Philorga Paris. It's a new brand to me, completely new, but in Max and Spencer's there is a massive, massive range that they have and I have heard a lot of good reviews about it. So I thought, you know, maybe this will be a good product to kind of start and introduce myself to this brand. So this is the eye makeup remover serum. It's meant to be moisturizing, revitalizing and lash fortifying. I mean, you know, nice promises, always sounds nice whatever they put on the bottle. But we shall see how it works. Continuing with skincare, I might as well do that. I also grabbed this Triple Oxygen Radiant Protection Energizing Serum. Oh my god, I'm such a sucker for like a good name. You know what I mean? Anything like that sounds exciting, I'm like, yes, give it to me, give it to me now. So this is from Bliss and it's an oxygen booster vitamin C skin shielding complex for radiant glowing skin. I mean, basically it's a serum to kind of plump up and give you that, you know, beautiful glow and radiance to your skin. Will it work? I have absolutely no clue. It's meant to also defend, like, and protect your skin from environmental pollution and any stress. Um, so yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't know what you guys do with the products that don't work for you. I either give them away to my friends or I give a lot to my mom because sometimes I will, like, buy uh, products that are more anti-aging and I don't really need anti-aging products but sometimes it just sounds too good and I'm like yes I'll have it but then I realize that it's not really for me so my mom is always sorted when it comes to skincare I have to say I also grabbed some pore strips and these are just the Bior pore strips and I have been using this for years it's just that the ones that I already have I think I have one strip left so I just grabbed to kind of refill my box and these are the deep cleansing charcoal pore strips. 
I don't know if you guys use pore strips, I do on my nose and I find that a really really good way to really make your pore strip go that extra mile is to first of all open your pores by either placing like a hot towel, don't burn yourself but you know like a warm towel on top of, on your nose to just steam steam your skin or you know just apply like a cotton pad that you soaked in warm water. But if you use baking soda, if you just put like make it into a paste with a little bit of water and then you sort of like scrub your nose, it actually really opens your pores. That's what I find and then I put the strip on and it really, you know, kind of gets rid of all that excess oil and all those blackheads. And um, what else have we got? I have another bath oil. I have been going absolutely crazy with bath oils. I have no idea. It will take me probably a lifetime to use all the bath products that I have bought in the last couple of months. But this is the Rituals Organic Argan Oil and Eucalyptus. And I love eucalyptus oils, especially at this time of the year. I'm just constantly under the weather a little bit. Um, also because I work with different people all the time. Everyone always gives me some kind of cold, some kind of flu, you know, just a little bit of runny nose, a little bit of sore throat. So I really enjoy taking a hot bath with some eucalyptus oil in it to kind of clear your ways. So I'm really looking forward to using this and it smells amazing. Oh yeah, I also grabbed this. Ta-da, how very exciting this, this is. This is the Bare Feet Professional Food File. Very self-explanatory. I go to a chiropodist once in a while to like literally scalp my feet and I find that that works the best, you know, no pedicure does the same job as a, you know, professional chiropodist. Um, but once in a while I do feel like doing it myself at home and this looked really good and I really hope that it will work because I have to say that me wearing so many different shoes all the time and heels and sometimes, you know, on the shoes, like I'm a size 6, but sometimes they will have shoes that are 5 and all day for 8 hours I stand around in shoes that are too small for me. So it's not very pleasant sometimes, so I do have to take care of my feet at home. So yeah, we'll give this a try in the bath. Then I have some makeup as well, obviously. Um, I got a eyeliner. And this is the Soap and Glory Super Cat Skinny Eyeliner. I mean, I like that it said Super Cat. That's why I bought it. I hope that I can do a good job with it because I'm not very good with eyeliners, I have to say. Actually, I'm not good at all. That's why I mostly prefer using pencils. I also got two eyeshadow palettes from NYX and these are the Full Throttle. Full Throttle. And I got it in Daring Damsel, which is this this is the palette that I actually use today on my eyes and I really like it. I have to say the pigment is amazing and they really like blend really easily and they don't dust, they look beautiful on. And there are four colors. There is a lighter shade, there's like a dark burgundy shade here and then there is a golden shimmer one and like a brown crease color which is really nice as well. And I also grabbed a Takeover Control Let's open this. Oh my god, it's already open. Did I do this? Or did someone else do this? I think someone's been in my shadow. Damn. Oh, never mind. Cross-contamination. Why not? Um, yes, this one kind of has this beautiful blue-black. And then there is a shimmery pink. There is a matte grey. And again, a golden. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. I mean, you can create a really nice day look, but you can, I think, go really nice and smoky for the evening with the darker shades. What else have we got? I got some nail polishes. Just a few. Oh well. Some of you, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I'm a big fan of the Essie Gel Couture nail polishes. They work a treat. If you want a nail polish that you can, you know, do at home, but that will last you like 10, 12 days, go for this. Because for me, it works amazingly. And I grabbed four more colors that just came out with some new shades. So I grabbed four more. I already have, I think, four or five at home. But these are the nail polishes that I have been using for, like, I don't know, maybe six months now. And I don't use any others because why use any other unless I really like the shade 
um, if this one just lasts so long. I grabbed a Rock the Runway, which is this beautiful red. I also brought, bought Surrounded by Studs, which is a really nice deep blue. I love this shade. Then I got Touch Up, which is like a pinky purple. And then I got a really nice new color at the bar, which is, you know, a really nice kind of everyday shade. Um, hopefully I can paint this on and, you know, even have it on the shoes because as you can see, I've had these boring nails for weeks now because I've been working so much. Unfortunately, I can't have my nails painted because on the shoes they will either paint them to, you know, whatever color they want or they just want them like this nude. So, yeah, it's really boring. The last thing I bought when I was in Boom is a palette that you can actually kind of make and put together yourself. And that's why I got it because I was so excited about it because I was like, oh my god, this is so exciting. Nothing new, you can do it at MAC, you can do it like in many places where you can just create your own palette. But for some reason I was just very excited about this because also it was very affordable. And this is the Makeup Obsession Live Love London. And you can pick your palette, there are silver ones, there are gold, rose gold, black, matte. I picked a silver one because I thought it's a good mirror. It's like a proper mirror, so if I want to see like my face, you know, full on, because I like to look at myself, <laughs> this, is, this is a good palette for me. And then you pick whatever you want to put in there, there are six like sections, and as you can see I've already filled mine, and then at the back you can actually see what are the products. So I have eyeshadow, 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 blush, highlighter. So I thought it would be good when I travel just to take this, <clears throat> maybe I will go and buy maybe a bronzer and just swap it with one of the eyeshadows, something like that. I mean, you might be looking at this and thinking, Xenia, the colors kind of look the same. I know, but that's what I tend to go for. You know, these are my like safe options. I know that I will like this. It's a really nice highlighter. The blush looks really nice and peachy. Haven't used any of these products yet, so I can't really tell how the products themselves perform. But I just thought it's a nice idea and I also thought it's a nice idea for a present and that was actually it! That was everything I spent my money on. Hopefully I will get some use out of those products <laughs> but I will update you on them if you have used any of them before or if you are interested in any particular product of the whole kind of haul, let me know and I will, you know, update you on that, give you a feedback or a review about it. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video.